Hi, everyone. Hi. Look at everybody so excited. <laughs> anyway, today it's a, it's a master class. It's going to, going to be pretty specific. There are, I think, three definite singers who are going to come up. And I did a little research on what they're going to sing just so that I kind of know what I'm going to talk about. Um, we're all going to hear them. They're going to be fantastic. And with each person singing, I will see what kind of adjustments can be made, which hopefully improves or changes or gives them a little different perspective on the song that they chose to sing. However, this we're going to see how some of those concepts that you have been learning in the classroom and in studio and in class, we'll see if some of that can actually apply in some sort of real world application, which is what we're going to try and do. There is information in every line of the song and this is when those lyrics become a script. And in musical theater as a rule, a song is never just a song. It's always coming out of a situation where it gets to be too much for that character to just talk. So they have to move into singing not coming out, but it has to come out of your eyes, it has to come out in your voice, and you have to know what story you're trying to tell. That was lovely. How did it feel for you? It felt better the second time? I won't send Pretty good job. <laughs> Musical theater, especially from an acting standpoint, you have sometimes you have all these lyrics that say one thing, but then there's also stuff in the subtext of it. The, the, usually, the thought that's is, is sometimes the complete opposite. Opposite of that, and, and it just because your eyes were just full of story. It's like we could see that there is there is a disconnect between what you're saying and what's going on in here, which makes it interesting to watch. And from this close up, it's like, oh, this is this is good. This, Thank this, you. There's a lot of potential in you. So, you good job. how difficult it must be for this young woman to keep it together and how she calls upon these beautiful images when she focuses on the moon I'm gonna look at the moon so that I don't think about my my love being away maybe he'll come today maybe he came already he's sitting in the drawing room That was beautiful. <laughs> there was a difference between the first one and the second one, and some differences were very specific. It's like, oh, that she didn't do that before, and yeah, but so that was really good. Thank you. Thank you. And as you're going, and when that key change happens, that's kind of that decision to transfer. Mm -hmm. And when you're singing that big thing, you're here. Okay. So try and don't, don't start it three quarters of the yeah. way to here. Okay. Start it a year before okay. you moved. Okay. And 
see where that takes you. Just the knowledge of being in a place where you know what your dream is, but you're stuck in a place where you know that it will not come true. And now you're in a place where it can. Yeah, you look like you had somewhere to go. Yeah. How did yeah. that feel? It, it felt more like it was me speaking than, uh, like it felt more like a me as a whole. Than right. Than just this one part of myself. Yeah.